welcome Star Wars Force Arena players to this brand new video. It's been a while since I've posted um, a higher tier bit of gameplay outside of 2 versus 2 um, and 1v1. And the reason for that is essentially that my cards aren't really competitive enough. As you can see from the deck I've got now, I've got a level 9 common, level 10 commons, level 11 is my highest right now uh, in Kaiba. And it's always been a struggle. Um, but this particular deck was suggested to me by Darth Renegade. So cheers, pal. Um, and I love playing Cad Bane. I don't know about you guys, but Cad Bane is one of my favourite leaders in the game as well. He's very agile, very mobile, and I love the fact that when he dies, his explosives will, will, can wipe out some enemy. Uh, so if I'm low on health and about to die, I'll try and make sure that I can like, suicide and run into like a bunch of units or near a leader and deal as much damage as I can, in, even to the turret as well, because that hurts the turret too, uh, and it's ideal. So this is a deck I'm running. I've got Droidica in there to counter ATRTs, obviously um and i've got battle droids as just as stuff to any probe droid uh, probe droids any gunk droids those kind of things and rocket troopers and things like that uh obviously first order right troopers are in there because they just deal a ton of damage on turrets i mean not so much because sometimes the turrets are a little bit high level so they'll literally just do as much as i can so i need to do another run and i've got assassin droid here level nine again it's not particularly strong for kyber but it's enough to cause distractions and obviously now my spider's at tier 10 level 10 it was at level 9 before um just to any splash damage obviously is deadly and tie bomber again for the same thing any splash damage aoe damage great counter again for atrts and big mobs of units like leia for example if she deploys raw guards this is a good way of cleaning that out of the way and then super battle droids because they're really really strong in the game good against almost everything to be fair um, apart from obviously the grenade, grenade and stuff. So I'm going to show you some games or some 1v1 and then I'll show you the deck. I use the deck for 2 versus 2 as well and the deck does really well in 2v2. Um, but obviously you have to plan your moves and things um, but bear in mind the deck is more evenly balanced in 2 versus 2 as well with the numbers. Um, so let's jump into some gameplay. Um, it's been difficult to show what game what games to show really because I played against um, the, the new Luke but he was a bit, little bit lower level than me in terms of... Um, I'm level 2, he was level 1, um, and his cards were almost like mine, but he had a level 12 Phoenix Squadron. Um, but I'm going to show you uh, two games against Yoda, which was extremely close, um, literally, and then Anakin Skywalker, uh, another strong leader. So enjoy. So I'm playing against Master Yoda, Master Yoda. <laughs> Show you both the decks we are running. He's level three. He's got level two Mace Windu. Um, strong cards, a little bit stronger than mine. So I didn't really know what to do with this game because I know he's going to either. Some Yodas have played against charge down the middle and get the middle turret straight away. Some mess about and, and don't do that. Um, and because he's a lot stronger than me, I didn't want to sort of commit myself too much. And as you see right now, I take so much damage from everything in there because the turret's stronger than me, he's stronger than me, and now it lifts the door open for a good counter push with Yoda and Mace. I'm still chipping away top left, so it's not a problem for me. I don't tend to panic too much. I take the health pack so he can't take it. Simple as that, really. Some players tend to do it, but um, I think also the health pack was part of the missions too, so <laughs> I had to take it. Um, but you see top left, that spider droid and that battle droid did a ton of damage up there. Look at that. So that's, that's got me back in the game. One tie bomb and that's, and that's kind of gone. Also with Cad Bane, his special ability as well, having these grenades are great. Because uh, something like Yoda, for example, would kill me now with this. Um, when you throw it, it, it roots people, a bit like the pike trap does as well. It roots them so they can't move. So that's a great way as well to st for stopping them. So I tend to have that up quite a lot for that very reason. Especially because like Yoda, for example, Count Dooku... Um, Ben Kenobi, all those kind of cars that you know will cause you a lot of problems. But lately, I don't know about you guys as well, lately in the game, there's been a lot of movement problems. Like, I'll try and jump over stuff and it'll just forward roll into, like, the obstacles rather than actually jump over it and do a bit of moonwalking too. It's a bit bizarre lately. Um, notice how I've pushed the top left now as well, up there. So a lot of players in two, in one versus one, for some unknown reason, um, will just make sure, they'll try and take down both turrets. And I don't understand why people do that. Um... The reason I'm putting droids there now is to counter, just to keep him busy away from everything. And obviously I'm low in health, so I really am on under the cosh now. Again, top left, there I go again. But he manages just to get there in time. 
but between the turret, the grenade, and the Yoda, it'll just decimate what I've got up there. Picked up a health pack, in goes my airstrike, taking it down to almost no health. So I'll keep the pressure up there tight. I'm just waiting for them to, to deploy units down here and over my sides. And again now, trying to get out of there. Oh, that's close, but I am dead. See the delay there as well in a death. So the thing hit me, and it took about a week for me to realise that I was actually dead. So he's got Mace, he's got himself attacking my middle turret. I might going to be in trouble there, but I've dropped top left droidi um, battle droidikas. He's got Pathfinders up there as well, but this is going to be so, so close now. Back to up now with more right troopers. And as you see down here, Yoda's are under the crusher. Do die again. Battle droids die again. He collects my health pack. This is going to be a fight to the end, but I've done a lot of damage on his shield generator there. Yoda's trying to get mine as well, but at the same time, it's a GG, and I eight seconds left to go. I got the final blow. How lucky was that? He was not happy, but that is life, isn't it? But we'll take it. And now moving on to our next game, Pedic's Anakin Skywalker. You underestimate my powers. I do, actually. I underestimate his powers. It's level 4, so it's much higher, double the level for me. His turret level, though, level 11. I didn't know that at the time, obviously, until I did some damage. So he's obviously batting above his weight. And here the Dex is using. Um, a couple of clears in there. Obviously, got Soaker at level 3. Um, so I expect it to be level 4, to be honest with you, with him being level 4 too. Um, just to see how we get on. So battle droids are in there, splash damage behind with the spider droid. Snipers in there too. I'd like to get rid of the snipers as quickly as I possibly can because they're just such a nasty card. Um, and, and they'll just chip away or whatever you've got. So he's going to counter push me again. He can't go for the turret because he's low on health. But he's going to go for it with a soaker. And, but right side there, we're doing so much damage. But his arc trooper, which is a great card, manages to clear the mess. So he's dead. Right troopers top left. I should take that turret down quite easily. I'm just going to sit back and not get overexcited because I haven't really seen him play like an ATRT. Assuming he's got one in his deck. I didn't know that at the time. He didn't have one, but I just assume he did. Again, sniper in there now. Spider droid. Unfortunately, locks onto the warrior and not the sniper. So I've got to jump over now. This is what I like about him. He'll just get killed and take a lot of damage um, off the leader. 1 minute 37 seconds to go. The game is pretty much under control. We've done a lot of damage up here. We've done a ton of damage here. We've already got a turret down. So he's going to try and count with the soaker. Not, not too worried. To be honest, because he takes a lot of damage from the turret and from me. Taking me down to just 3 quarters health. And again, he wants his turret badly. But it's not going to happen. Spider droid. Battle droid. Pushing him back. Keeping him away from my turret. He'll dive in. I'll jump in there now. He drops a sniper in there. I will focus that sniper. I will die and I'll take him, the sniper, and I will also take half of the health of that warrior. He's going to have a push on me. It's not a problem losing this turret here, so I'm quite happy to, to defend it. He's going to counter push with the soaker, but top left I'll drop down some first order troopers. I'm just going to go for the juggler vein now in the game. There's no point defending that turret. With any units, I'd rather just do as much damage as I possibly can up there with a battle droid, droidica, and everything else. And boom, it's gone, giving me a three to one lead right now. And it's going to be a GG as I lose that turret. And I'll lose the top, I'll lose this one as well because obviously it's got no health. Let's get rid of this boy. See you later, Arc Trooper. Look at the damage it does to a leader. I mean, that is immense. And level half health. So, watch what happens now if I get killed. In goes it, the TIE Bomber. No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, actually, to be fair. If I got killed there, I would do a lot of damage on that turret as well and probably take it with me. But it's going to be a GG. He'll take the turret down there, but we've got the middle turret. We're onto the shield generator. Three seconds left to go. That's a good game. I did not underestimate his power, but it wasn't enough power to win the day. So that's Anakin Skywalker. So what I'll do now, I'll show you a game of 2 versus 2. So we're diving into some 2 versus 2. It's difficult to, to show what game to show, really, as there have been so many. I had a really close game as well, but that's not actually on the playlist anymore. So we're playing against uh, Poe Dameron and Phasma. So with Poe Dameron, as you've probably seen in previous videos, you have to expect that he's going to be attacking the middle lane. That's what Poe Dameron tends to do. Um, and then I get surprised with an ATST. Phasma decks lately have been crazy, crazy. There's some bizarre cars running around. In comes a pod drop. Under a lot of pressure, his left lane. In goes Poe's attack. Trying to keep away from Trex, because obviously, end of the day, he's a nightmare. 
Um, I'm trying to get on my Jodhid to help just push the attack and force the issue. But no, I did die, but I took some troopers with me, did some damage to Poe. And it's going to keep the pressure on as my units push up the map. So, a bit of an exchange there, early days. Nothing really much to worry about, to, to be honest with you. Focusing on the leaders. Really want to wear down the leaders, like with Poe Dameron. Really want to wear him down because he'll just otherwise take the mickey out of you. So first order troopers are in there. Unfortunately for me, he managed to lock onto me with special ability. So therefore, obviously he killed me. But then the afterthought was he did some damage to my first order troopers. But that was a good attack, taking the turret down to almost nothing. Huge push coming down the middle. So rather than just throwing stuff down, I'll keep it quick behind me. Phasma jumps in. I'm going to try and get in there now and just die. Take as much damage as I, take as much as I can with me. Uh, but... Mace Windy manages to kill off BB-8. Yoda's doing the damage on the HST Walker. Bit of chip damage in the middle turret. Surprise that um, Poe has not attacked the middle like most Poe Dameron's do. I uh, had a previous game when that happened. Um, but with that, as I said in previous videos, you just have to push that middle, really. And maybe chip away at one turret, one side. Uh, and then let him have to use his cards to defend rather than to attack. In goes the, the drop pod. Not worried about that, to be honest with you, for now. Push that right lane, taking that turret down, keeping the pressure on Poe at all times. That way, as I said, he just has to defend with his cards. In goes um, BB-8. He's going to try and acquire an ATS, um, ATRT. He does. Couldn't stop that, unfortunately. But Trex does die. Take down the ATRT. He's captured. Pushing on the middle turret now. Spider droids are in there. ATRT is in there. Top left are pushing again. Droidica is just hanging on for dear life. And the battle droids are chasing down this ATST walker. Roger, Roger. But we are onto the middle turret now. It's going to be a GG as I die again. I don't like to die too often, but with Cad Bane, um, choosing the right moment to die is, is always the best course of action for me. It's making sure that I've, I can actually do stuff. This is where I couldn't, I think I couldn't move. I can't remember now uh, for a bit in the game. Deploying cards has been a nightmare too. I don't know about you guys, I don't know if it's just me or if it's European servers, but it's just become a bit a bit annoying. Um, so they're back in the game now. That turret is gone. This turret is gone. But we are onto the middle turret. We just need to focus on that. Phasma does eventually die. In goes a bomber. That's a GG. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That is Cad Bane. Give it a go. I'm not using his unique. Um, because in 2v2 especially, and in 1v1 as well for me, she's so weak. Uh, I do use her occasionally, but she's level 2 if I, if I upgrade her. Um, and it's not particularly strong against other uniques. And quite honestly, for, the, for that energy cost, I'd rather spend it on cards that will give me a little bit more variety, and a bit more power in terms of um, attacking and stuff. But let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next Star Wars Force Arena video. May the force be with you.